Hi, welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Yes, let's talk about the Black Stars of Ghana. Who is going to be the next coach for Ghana? To me, I think we should go with Chris Hutton to be the Black Stars of Ghana's coach ahead of our next qualifiers and also the, the Afcon A sub that we have in 2024. Let's talk about it. A new coach is now emerging. According to reports, his name has been penned down by the Ghana Football Association to be considered for the next Black Stars of Ghana's coaching job. Well, I will opt for Chris Hutton any day, any time because he has experience because of a lot of videos and a lot of things I've seen about him. I made a video on it in my previous video. You can go and check it out. So let's talk about him. Then one ex-footballer is also supporting Andre. Are you the captain for the Black Stars of Ghana? Many are saying that it is time for him to retire because he is no more the Ayu that we used to know. Um, his power has come down in a whole lot of stuff. I don't know what you think about it. Let me know it in the comment section. Before then, kindly drop us a like after that. Make sure you smash on the subscribe button. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. Quickly, let's get into the details. Now, according to reports coming in, <laughs> well, um, this report was given us by Ghana Web. They said that the Gambia's head coach, so if you go to Gambia, their head coach, his name is Tom Seinfeld. He is a Belgian. Yes, um, he has reportedly entered the race to become the next Black Stars coach. According to reports, Seinfeld has his name penciled in by the Ghana Football Association and could land the Black Stars job to take over from Otto Ado, who just retired recently. Seinfeld is 49 years of age and is the current manager of the Gambia national football team. He qualified the country for the first Africa Cup of Nations in 2021, leading them to a quarter-final finish. He has extensive experience in African football, having taken over as Namibia's head coach in 2008. Since then, he has led Zimbabwe, Malawi, Togo, Ethiopia, and now the Gambia. The Belgian has also worked in Nigeria as a technical advisor, and um, at the moment, Chris Hutton and George Barton are favorites for the vacant position after Otoado stepped down a few weeks ago. So according to reports, we understand that Tom Seinfeld is also being considered to become the next coach for the Black Stars of Ghana. So I've heard a lot of people talking about, you know, this is the first time hearing Tom Seinfeld being entering the race by Ghana Web. But I've also heard of um, George Barton. I understand the technical team. Um, that is there already. That's Joy Boatin. The Chris Hitting may be considered for the next Blasters of Ghana's job. I think Coach Chris Hitting deserves the work 100%. To me, I don't know what you also think about it because George Boatin will not have that experience. He will just be like maybe a little bit of upgrade of Coach Otoado and um, pair his records as a coach. Well, I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Now, according to um, your prayer point, he has defended the under fire Andre Ayo following Black Stars' first round exit from the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Black Stars needed a draw in the final group game against Uruguay um, to advance to the next round of the tournament. But Ghana lost two goals to nil, with the captain missing a penalty in the first half. And um, according to your prayer code, this what he also has to say concerning um, that is the under fire. Black Stars captain. He said it was a very sad uh, because Messi also missed a penalty. I think Lewandowski also missed a penalty, but it is up to us to be behind the player. That's how you when something like this happens. That is what the former Emina uh, Sharks um, coach, that is Yao Echampo, rather said. So Yao Echampo has to say this. He continued by saying when Messi missed a penalty, the whole national players were behind him and make sure they motivated the team. Motivation has different factors and one of the major factors is the fans and the media. I believe though we lost, people are saying it was because of the penalty but after the penalty we had a lot of chances and we should have put the ball in the net so we don't have to blame everything on the penalty he added. So according to the former uh, Minas Sharks coach that is Yao Echampong he believes that Andre Ayu, the captain for the Black Stars of Ghana, is not to be blamed that much for our loss against Uruguay because after the penalty miss, we had a lot of opportunities to also at least draw the game or win or score more in that particular game. So I don't know what you think about it. Do you side with him 
or do you also go with the people who are saying that um andrea you it's time for him to you know say goodbye to the black stars of Ghana. let me know what you think about it in the comment section don't forget to like the video subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this is Kenny tv and of course we shall meet later so what a for Ghana. That's how we will send this to you. Download the Lemonade Finance app on our App Store, Google Play Store. Never send this to you. We'll send this to you. We'll send Lemonade Finance app on our free. So we'll send this to you. free. It's very easy and it's very secure too. Exchange rates are so the best on the market. And to catch our books, we'll send this to you. We'll send this to you. We'll send this to you. We'll send this to Lemonade Finance. Ubet me download the Google Play Store, any Apple App Store. Kai say Lemonade Finance a free, a easy, a fast, and a exchange rate. No, so you're the best on the market.